All right, everybody, it's Thursday. Oracle's back here once again, and we're going to talk about something uh, movie related. Some of my favorite John Candy films. I had, uh, I didn't write the list down, but uh, just to name a few. Um, one of my big favorites of his was uh, Summer Rental. I actually watched that on one of the streaming services last weekend. Watch that. That's a real good one. Um, I believe that was like 84 or 85. Really enjoyed it. Um, he works as a, uh, John Candy works as a, uh, um, at an airport, like a flight uh, radar person. I don't know what the key term is. And uh, his boss tells him he needs a vacation. And him, him and his wife and the kids go on vacation. And uh, just a lot of fun stuff happens there. It's, you know... They meet up with uh, Rip Torn. Uh, I'm not really familiar with him. I know he uh, was an actor. He passed away a couple years ago, uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, just uh, very, very, very funny. I mean, I think the movie was really, really great. Uh, if you want laughs, which, hey, we all need laughs. Uh, the other one I do like, um, I really enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> I just have to think about this one too, and I'm thinking about it. He was only in. He was a sporting cast member. He was in Splash. I liked him in Splash. I mean, I thought it was a good, a good film. Uh, him and Tom Hanks, and uh, I haven't seen that in years. I mean, that was uh, about uh, Daryl Hannah being the mermaid. So that was a, a fun one. The other one I really liked was uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Planes, Trains. Why is it a tongue twister today? Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with uh, Steve Martin. I thought that was funny. That was filmed uh, up in Chicago. Of course, you know, I live in, you know, an hour away from Chicago. So uh, definitely um, a real treat, especially right, right around the holiday time. And if you guys don't know, I read about it, but I didn't get to actually officially see it until like last year, because I've seen this movie many times. I didn't realize that Kevin Bacon had a cameo scene in the film. Uh, if you pay attention where Steve Martin is actually uh, running to chase down a taxi, Kevin Bacon runs with him on the opposite side of the street. They're running to get to who, see who's going to get to the taxi first. I thought that was really, really uh, hilarious. It kind of reminded me of a spinoff of maybe like uh, Quicksilver almost a little bit. But yeah, Kevin Bacon's got a uh, cameo scene in uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Uh, the other one I did like was with uh, Tim and Dan Aykroyd, The Great Outdoors. That was a pretty pretty fun one as well. So uh, he was also in uh, um, honorable mentions. Uh, he was in uh, John Candy. He was also in uh, Spaceballs. He was in, he had a cameo scene. A, little, a cameo scene is really, really short, but I don't know if you want to call it a cameo scene, but he was in the first Home Alone. He was... Uh, the guy that was with his uh, was with his group of uh, friends that uh, took uh, um, Kevin McAllister's mom home to find Kevin because they, they knew they left Kevin be behind when they went out of town. So yeah, he uh, had a cameo in that. Um, I've seen Who's Harry Crumb. I've seen that maybe like one or once or twice. Don't really know much about it. Um, but like I said, my favorite one was uh, my favorite one was Summer Rental, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Great Outdoors was was an, another good one of his, and uh, that's you know pretty much it with uh, his films that I really enjoyed. I know I did see Only the Lonely. That was a film with him and Ali Sheedy. I thought that was really good from what I remember seeing it. Um, that was I think 1991. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is the video for uh, this Thursday here, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. You tell me um, in the comments. I mean, which John Candy films were your favorite? Uh, you already know mine. So take care, guys, and I'll be right back here uh, tomorrow with uh, my uh, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium trailer reaction. I know it's really, really late, but I'll just show you. I'll just show you my reactions of you know. Not, not a reaction, but like a review of what I thought of it. And I really loved the first two films, so stay tuned for that one.